Hey everybody, this is Kuimpak with Let's Play American Girl Kit Mystery Challenge. And of course, Kit's on a mission today. We need to wait for more eggs to spawn in, so we're gonna go talk to the remaining people in the house about the intruder. Because that is the thing we need to do. We still have not found Dad. Where is Dad? Little mirror here. Man, nothing. Nothing here. Dad in Dad's room? Probably. No, nobody's here. This is crazy. Kit, you seeing this? Dad still hasn't found a job here during the Great Depression. Even after all the help I've given him. So, we did learn something about the intruder, but it wasn't enough. We need to find more. Oh, hello! Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. We talked to Elizabeth already. What am I, what am I missing? Okay, I was in here. I'm, ha I'm struggling to find people in a home. Struggling to find Dad in a home where Dads exist. I have to speak to him, but I can't find him anywhere. It's... this. Where is... where is father, unit? I need his opinion. Uncle Hendrick, please save me. Where is father, unit? There's nothing he wants me to do. It is depressing. I must find dad. The dad figure. Where is dad? I've already talked to you, but I need to find the dad. Wait a minute. Those didn't respond in, did they? No. Okay, so yeah. I haven't really done anything with cell A. It doesn't count. It doesn't count towards your progression. What are we doing? I think Dad's downtown. My goal involves talking to people in the house. That is what I was straight up said in the in the hint book. Like going down here is like, hey, 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 yeah. Have you seen my father? Damn, nothing. Need to ask people around the house, it said, but I've talked to everyone in the house. This is the bank where Ruthie's father works. It's too bad he can't get a jo dad a job here. Hello. Well, that's a line we didn't see before. Ruth's dad's a banker? During the Great Depression? Oh man, how lucky. The you. I'm only interested in buying eggs a half a dozen. I'll give you six cents. I'll give you 15 cents for six eggs. Okay. She's a half dozen kind of woman, and I'm sitting on four eggs, but I don't want to sell until I'm at 12 anyways. Where could father be? Not over here. He really isn't anywhere. This is my house. Great observation skills. Where, where is he? He's gotta be somewhere, right? see him up here in my room. It'd be a little weird that dad was in, you know, Kit's room, but, you know. It could happen. Is there anything else I can ask these people? Okay, 
They, these are good. Is that fine, Dad? Where is Dad? Where is Father? It's like low poly res in between room transitions. And see, they built this like quaint little house. I've already told you everything I know. That doesn't tell me where Dad is. This is the search for Dad. Where is Dad? Damn, not even Charlie's telling me. Chicken. Oh, damn it, the chicken doesn't know. Oh, there he is. Holy shit, I can barely see him. What the hell are you doing out here? I should get closer to see what Dad's doing. footprint on the ground hi dad what are you doing oh just looking where that person came snooping into our yard last night i'm thinking about building a fence you already have a fence dad i do too sweetheart and good wood is expensive nowadays but your safety is worth a pr any price hey kit take a look at this it's like a footprint i bet the man left it when he ran it is an awfully small footprint isn't it mm, you're right look at these it's at least three inches shorter than mine, and my feet aren't even that big. That's what you think. Look at the size of yours compared to mine. <laughs> well, you make a good point. I think I'll take a closer look at the footprint here. Do, 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 got a footprint. The footprint has a funny pattern, like it's from a work boot. I should get a picture of it so I can remember what it looks like. Well, there's only one man I know who can create pictures back in the 1930s. Because we don't got cameras, apparently. That's Sterling, the human camera. Sterling, all your worth is about to be paid up in gold. Let him come outside, and I need, I need him. I need you to photocopy a thing. Do make a drawing of some feet. Heavens no, he's safe here until I'm sure the house is safe again. Oh, please, Miss Howard. Let him come outside just for a few minutes. The yard is safe. My dad is out there surveying the new fence. Well, I'm coming right back. Oh, all right. Come right back away. Come back right away. Oh, boy. I dyslexia at all that. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go draw more feet. Yeah, feet. See? A footprint. You can draw the pattern on the treads, right? I'll have it done in a jiffy. Oh. Oh, he's like making sexual noises as he draws it. Thanks, Sterling. That's perfect. But did you have to be a weird about it? Yes. Yes, I did. I should get back now. See you in my room, kid. Bye bye. It's rusty mops. Look at the boots. Look for boots that match the footprint in the picture. Picture. The picture. You got a picture? Oh, yeah, footprint picture. Drawing a footprint. Drawing of the footprint and its treads. I'll leave some tread marks on your face. What the? Oh, I was caught on the bush. I was like, why'd she dead stop in the camera pan? Let's grab some eggs real fast. Oh, you yokester? So if I had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. We have enough to sell that lady, so we're gonna go do it. At long last, the tedium begins. Sell them eggs. Thanks, ma'am. I know where I know where I know where I can see some boots that might fit fit the picture. But my problem is, a bunch of burly men might assault me for doing this. Still in the case? You betcha! Nothing.
Those footprints look interesting, but I can't see them well. What? We're right next to them. These footprints match the drawing Sterling made. They come from Emerson's tent. I wonder where they lead. Wow! Boots! Stop at this bush. There's some boots under here. And they match the footprint. I think I'll ask Emerson about them. Well, Emerson, what do you have to say? Um, er, uh, well. I found the footprints with the same tread. Leading away from your tent right to these boots. Look, I lost my own shoes, so I took those boots, okay? Please don't tell anyone. So you were wearing them? What were you doing in my backyard? Well, no, I can't wear them. They barely fit. It was all I could do. It was all I could do to stumble over to that bush and take them off, where nobody could see. Hmm, where did you get them from? They were behind John's tent. I'm new here, and I didn't think anyone was using them. When I found them, they were John's. I guess I panicked. Didn't want anyone to know I'd taken them. I promise I won't tell anyone. I think these boots are the ones that made the footprints in our yard. They're awfully tiny. I wonder if anyone else has feet this small. Alright, John. Hey, John's feet are small. Oh, that's pretty judgmental of you, Kit. These must be his boots. But I have huge floppy clown feet and I, I kind of hate it. <laughs> Which means he was snooping around our backyard. Oh no, snooping. Snooping is as usual. was in the yard, I'm sure of it. That must mean that he was the one whispering Elizabeth's name, too. The hobo in our yard could somehow be related to Rose's disappearance. Maybe Will can help me figure that out. Oh, God. Talk to Will. Got it. Where there's a Will, there's a way. I'm not talking to Sawyer. Do you know anything else about John? Ooh, that John over there? He's just one of many Johns. That's just a John. Come on, now. Well, not a whole lot, really. He seems worried about a lot of times. Want to search his tent, I think he might be related to a missing person. Hey, that sounds like something the police should handle. Not a little girl. Yo, little Goyle, get out of here! Mom and Dad have already called the police about Rose, but they're not going to listen to me unless I have evidence. What if I'm wrong? Come out here and go through the whole hobo jungle? Wouldn't that be worse for all these people than me just having a quick look? Well, I prefer to keep it out of pe other people's business, but I'll have... I'll be out just this one time. I'll make a distraction, and then you'll have enough time to search at least one tent in that time. I'm back when you're ready, and we'll give it a try. Oh, thank you, Will. I'll come back when I have a good idea of what I'm looking for. I have to learn more about the missing person for it. So I know if anything... So I know if anything I see relates to her. I should head home and ask Elizabeth to tell me more about Rose. Searching a tent won't do any good if I don't know what I'm looking for. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. Alright, I will talk to Sawyer just because I am curious. Could you stretch out your legs? I want to see if these boots fit you. You are one weird little girl, you know that? Are you an amateur shoe salesman now? I'm not as weird as you. You can't even talk to someone without making bad jokes. I think he's sexually harassing you, but, you know, I'm not gonna... You know, he might be for the time. What is sexual harassment in the 30s? <laughs> Think about it. Fine, I'll speak plainly, Blue Eyes. I wear a size 12. You couldn't fit those little booties on me if you tried. Now, well, will you leave me alone? That's all I wanted to know. Goodbye. I'm glad I actually did talk to him. Hey, Sherlock, get out of my stuff. We know, we know it's him, right? He did it, right? It's him. It ain't, it ain't the guy who it's obvious. It's gotta be like a bait and switch. Biggest bait and switch in the land. Chimpkins fill up this box. You did some. I'll take them. Taking these eggs to sell them up so I can buy stuff for my family. Need seven dollars to expand the house, which is highway robbery. Even though a house expansion would be insane at that price today, it would be such a good deal. Hey, Dad, I got some questions for you. Oh, never mind. Dad's useless. We all know Dad's useless. That's just normal. 
I can't do anything. I am out of time. Damn. Ready? Well, this has been Quimpack with Let's Play. Hit. Mystery Challenge American Girl. We still don't got anything from Uncle Hendrick. I just wanted to check that real fast. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time. On the Adventures of an American Girl. We ask Elizabeth about Rose. See you then.